subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Latest on Tropical Storm Cristobal, which has moved inland over Mexico after making a rare landfall in the Campeche region. Not many storms make direct landfall in that area. Some of them come over from the other side of the Yucatan Peninsula and roll over it. But the first time in a while we've seen something like this. We're looking as of 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, a storm with maximum sustained winds of 45 miles an hour with a minimum pressure of 997 millibars, currently at 18.3 degrees north, 91.8 degrees west, a stage 4 on the CDPS scale, not necessarily because of the wind speed, which will be winding down, but because of the extreme amounts of rainfall that have been coming down over the region over the past almost a week now, and will continue for the next few days as well. 24 miles from Ciudad del Carmen, where it made a landfall near earlier today, 38 from Balancon, which is to the southeast of it now for the time being, and from Campeche, where it could move near within the next two to three days, about 133 miles from right now. Tropical storm force winds are currently potential, uh, which is with the warning, uh, from Campeche to Coltacolcos uh, in Mexico right now. No other warnings outside of that region for the time being. Um, United States should be monitoring the system closely, though, as we head into the weekend. Here's the GFS model showing precipitation and cloud cover. You can kind of see the area of influence of the storm move northwards over the next few days and broaden out to become a very large system. The time it spends over land is really going to kind of unwind the system a bit, so when it gets going northwards, it will be a much broader system, which fortunately, uh, once we get towards the states, could potentially limit intensification uh, for wind speeds. However, that could mean rain threats occur over an even larger area than priorly would have been assumed with the system of its current size. Season for temperatures right now, 29 to 28 degrees, depending on where in the Gulf you are, warm enough to sustain development if it can stay structured properly. However, if it winds down too much, it won't be able to take advantage of this in particular. Here's the wind speed forecast from the GFS. You're not going to see too much of it initially because the storm is over land right now, but around this point here, uh, this is about Friday heading into Saturday, you'll see the storm emerge over the Gulf of Mexico as a broader, more disorganized system. Uh, and potentially making a landfall now between most likely uh, the Mississippi Alabama border all the way potentially to Texas. Florida is unlikely to have a landfall, but if the system gets large enough uh, due to its time over land, they could still see impacts regardless. You saw there a significantly wider wind field than what it has right now. Chance of tropical storm force winds, Ciudad del Carmen, 99%. They already have had tropical storm force winds, and that's why it's that high. Balancon, where uh, could be experiencing tropical storm force winds very shortly, if not already, 90%. Campeche, even though the storm could actually even go over the area, it's expected to be a tropical depression at that time currently. Unless that changes, you won't really see them get tropical storm force winds, but the rain is the biggest concern by a large margin. Here's a track forecast from the computer model spread. They're pretty targeted right now on a Louisiana landfall in general, but the general range from Texas to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama should be on watch for potential landfall. And here's the HOR forecast for rainfall. You can see in parts of Mexico, this model wants 32 plus inches of rain localized to still fall, generally risk for 16 plus, which is why this is still so high up on the CDPS scale compared to what you'd normally expect from a 45 mile an hour tropical storm. Here's the latest satellite imagery of Cristobal. You can see it over land in Mexico now, still maintaining pretty decent convection, especially on that eastern and southern side. You can see a flare-up even going over uh, into Guatemala as well. However, the system has been generally unwinding for the past 12 hours or so since it made landfall. This trend should continue as well uh, over the next several days, and we're really watching to see how it might emerge eventually back over into the Gulf of Mexico to see what potential impacts further north could be. Stay tuned with us for the latest information. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.